Welcome back to a new video and today I'll be showing you guys how you can make a weather command for your discord bot. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so firstly, we're going to go to weatherapi.com. Uh, then once you're here, I guess just click sign up and I guess just go through all of this. Once you do do that though, you should come to a page over here with your API key right here. Just literally click copy and that's it. All right, so here I am in my Visual Studio code. And I have my API key over here that we just got. And what I want to start off with is we just want to start off with the command, right? So this is really easy to do in slash commands also. Um, but yeah, we're just going to start off with a normal command just for now. And I'm going to call this web, right? And inside here, we're going to have CTX, which is commands.context. And then we're also going to have city right so whichever city they want to get the weather for they can and then we're going to grab the url and so our url is i've put all of um, the url and everything down below in, uh, in the description and comment section so just go and check that out while you're subscribing so now that we have the url we can create the parameters and they're going to have be two parameters one of them is going to be, of course, our key, our API key. And over here, right here, I'm just going to do API key. You can put yours in here as well. It doesn't really matter. And then it's going to be Q. And this is going to stand for Curry. And I think I said that wrong, but essentially it's just going to be our city, right? And that's what it's going to, I guess, search for, right? It's going to search for our city. So we can put New York and it'll search for New York. And then we can do async def. And inside here, we can use AIO HTTP. If you don't have that installed already, yeah, install it, I guess. And then we can just do AIO HTTP dot client session as session. And then we can open this up by doing async with session dot get and something like URL and then the params equals params. And this is going to be as responses. Well, honestly, we can just do as res, and then we can do data equals await res.json. As this should be async await. All right. But now that we do that, we can actually parse our data and grab what we need. So now on the side over here, you should see what our data looks like. And so we can use that by just going through the JSON very simply. So we can do data and then to get the location, we can do location and name. And then to get the temperature, I'm going to do temp underscore C and that's going to be data. Once again, it's going to be current. And then we can do something like temp underscore c and then i can just copy this and get the same thing for fahrenheit by just replacing temp underscore c with temp underscore f and then actually i can just copy this a couple of times and then replace temp f with humidity and then for this one do wind underscore kph and wind underscore mph and do condition and now over here we can do uh, I guess humidity and then for this one we can do wind underscore kph and just copy this for this and then mph and then lastly this one it's going to be condition and then this one's going to go a bit deeper with the text we also have one last one, which is going to be instead of text here, we're just going to do icon. And that's going to be the icon for our weather. So now that we have that, what we want to do is we actually want to put this inside of an embed. So that's going to be our next step. Right before I do that, I'm just going to, I guess, finish this up. And there we go. Now this gives us a proper URL as well. Now, this part is super simple, and I believe everybody can do this, right? So it's embed equals next chord dot embed. Once again, this will work with any fork. It doesn't matter if you're using PyCore, Discord.py, this, this will work. And then we can do weather for, 
and I guess just do location, right? Uh, and we can do description. The description will be pretty much the same thing, but we're going to use a bit more different. So we're going to do the condition in location. is and then we can just put in the condition so condition there we go and then what we can do is we can add fields right we're gonna add three fields and that's just pretty much gonna have all of our info that we got over here and so first field will be the temperature right we want that's pretty much what's most important temperature and by the way you can of course like I guess just swap out the data for whatever you want. Um, if you want to have more things, the API offers lots of things such as like participation, the percentage or how much rainfall there's been. You can always just swap that out to get exactly what you're looking for. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do, I guess, first is Celsius. And so C is temp underscore C. And then F, which is Fahrenheit, is going to be temp underscore F just like that and then we can just copy copy this a bunch of times or I guess three times and then down here what we're gonna do is humidity All right and this one we don't really need to do anything we can just put in humidity and lastly we have wind speeds and for this one we're gonna do kph kilometers per hour and we're gonna do miles per hour for all of you that live in America. And then we can do KPH and pretty much just copy and paste this and change this to an M. All right, now that's mostly everything done. Last thing we wanna do is we wanna add an image because the API does actually give us an image for what the weather is, all right? It's a small little icon, so we're just gonna do URL is image underscore URL and that's pretty much it, we're done. So you can just send this and there we go so let's hop into discord and let's just sell all right so here i am in my discord and you can see that the bot is online if i were to do help you'll see that it pops up right don't worry about this bot and we have the weather command right so right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna do weather and we need we need some sort of city right so i'm just gonna do new york right simple and there you go weather for new york the condition is new york it, the condition in New York is clear and then it tells you all of your wind speeds and you can check this right it's 39 degrees there it's really cold yeah I know uh, and then we can do something like weather if you want to check something like in London there you go and so yeah you can check anywhere in the world and this is a completely free API so thanks for watching today's video I really hope you enjoyed and until next time we'll stick out see ya